Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Desi, that Tarot, and I'm back for another Tarot reading. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of when I upload and when I go live. And if you would like to book a private reading, all you have to do is go into my description box, and everything is going to be down there. So before we get into it, everything I say is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only, until modern science can come up with a math medical equation that the metaphysical science is an actual valid tool of science and any form of divination are actual valid tools of science so let's get into it so we have this is going to be interesting y'all because we're going to talk about christian keys right he's an actor singer and writer all right first of all if you guys ever seen the boondocks when Granddad wanted to basically it was a um parody of like Tyler Perry and his you know plays and stuff. So it's so funny because when Granddaddy was trying to do was trying to be an actor, you know, the knockoff Tyler Perry dressed as a woman was trying to get the men to do gay stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of funny if y'all seen that um episode it's kind of funny that we're here now with christian keys and we're talking about what he's talking about so he alleges that a powerful man in the industry sexually harassed him and sexually essayed him for years he alleges he alleges to being bullied and intimidated right he actually claimed that one time he was really drunk off of Hennessy and he was at this person's house at a party and he was too drunk to go home. So he went to his went to this person's guest room and went to sleep and this person tried to get in the bed with him and he was like, hold on, what you doing? Because he's a straight man, right? Um, so he tried to brush it off and when he went home and when he was about to leave, he tried to give him a handshake and the man grabbed his private parts, right? And so now he's spazzing out because he's tired of it, right? He spazzed out on him. And if you guys don't know, he's been a part of Tyler Perry Productions for years, right? So we have this episode from the Boondocks that's telling us that the person that's dressed up like the production, the person that owned the production company that's doing all these plays dressed up as a woman, he want to do gay stuff. <laughs> Okay. Y'all, yeah, for real. First of all, before we get into anything, I am sick as a dog, okay? I am actually eating my Ricolas and stuff, but I am sick as a dog. And this right here, it is so funny because it's just like The Simpsons, right? When The Simpsons shows, like, stuff that's going to happen in the future and it actually happened and you can go to that like episode and see like damn but it's giving boondocks right so i want to know did this actually happen and remember terry cruz actually talk, came out and talked about how uh, um a powerful agent groped him and when he went to the police they basically hushed everything up right so let's get into it we're going to be using the Tarot of Wonderland because I like this tarot deck. And we're basically going down the rabbit hole, right? This is crazy. Okay, Christian Keys. Okay, Spirit, give me the energy surrounding Christian Keys and what he's alleging about being sexually harassed and sexually assaulted by a powerful man in the industry. Give me the energy of that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so. So. I'm just going to tell y'all both books. The first card is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So when we talk about the Page of Pentacles, of course, it's supposed to be like a new coin, like a new potential. This is a immature card but it's like when you have this new potential this new opportunity right and you have to figure out how you want to form it and everything else like that 
And the reverse is that it's not that you're doing anything bad. You don't know what you signed up for. And you have over expectations about a coin. Okay? And what I mean by you don't know what you signed up for, like you could have been honest. Say like Christian Keys could have came in to this company or, you know, into the industry really wanting to do things the right way. He wanted to be an actor, singer, writer, and things like that. But he didn't know everything that goes on. So that's what I mean by he doesn't know what he signed up for. You know. And over expectations about a coin, which is kind of true. Now I kind of believe that, you know, his opportunities where he was talking about because he wouldn't play ball with certain things, he didn't get the raises and he didn't get this and he didn't get that. That makes sense with this card. Okay? So, then you have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Again, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be a new form of what creativity, passion, action, enterprise, relationships and stuff like that. But if we're going to talk about SA, this is usually the male genitalia, right? This is supposed to be passion. He's not gay. He has a sexual hangup. See, that's the issue. He was working for someone this powerful man I told you that he had he didn't know what he signed up for and a lot of his opportunities he would have had to play ball for and he's not like that because he's not gay sexual hangups and this is this production company the four bonds is in-house right so it's something fundamentally um, wrong here the foundation of this thing is wrong so, they have to rethink how they're doing stuff to really build. So, you're dealing with, again, so now I'm going to do it again. And I do think he can go to the authorities, right? He's not lying. So, I do feel like there was a powerful person who was running their company a certain way. And it is giving the boondocks. Okay. Please watch that episode, y'all. So, and this person did not know. Um, Christian Keys did not know that he was going to have to deal with that. Okay. He does not know. He did not know that. And, you know, to be honest with you, the only way a person with a production company gets away with that stuff is if certain people are actually doing it. So, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those sexy men that we see on TV that dealt with that company were playing ball and doing those things. He just wouldn't do it. So he didn't get opportunities. Like the casting couch, right? Kind of like that. Okay, so let's talk about... So that's the whole energy of it. That's the point. And this is him standing up for himself. And guess what? He's strong. And he's going to stand up for himself. And he could have did it sooner, like he said. But better late than never. Okay? So, he will stand up for himself. And he can take it to court if he wants to. Okay? So, let's talk about him being in the bed. Let's ask, what's this Tyler Perry? Let's ask that. So, I don't believe he's lying. So, let's see if it's Tyler Perry. Because, obviously, it's the person who he worked for production company and all who has all this stuff going on give me the energy with Tyler Perry did Tyler Perry try to sexually harass and sexually assault Christian Keys one two three one two Okay, so let's do some clarity here. Okay, so you got the five of cups in the reverse. Something, okay, well, let's move it back a little bit. So the baseline is something happened with Christian Keys. He didn't know what he signed up for. And a lot of things he didn't get because he had sexual hangups. 
So if I'm asking if something happened with him, if things actually happened, and was it Tyler Perry, you have the five of cups in the reverse. So there was a past disappointment. So something did happen in the past. Now, it could have sincerely been the, with the Five of Cups. It can be you, you know, regretting the, the certain things you've done. Okay. Mourning a loss. But this is sounding like regretting certain things, right? So there's a thing of regret here when it comes to Tyler Perry and Christian Keys. The Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse. This is per this person is supposed to come in with a steady offer. But it's in the reverse. This person is not dependable with this offer. So on the end with Christian Keys, he thought he was gonna get certain things. He thought he was doing things the right way. And because he wouldn't play ball, he wasn't able to do certain things. And he promised Christian Keys certain things, and he didn't give it. Okay, so there was sexual tension, too, with him. Okay, you got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands talks about going into business. It can be looking at things from a distance. Things like that. But usually it can be like a business partnership. So they did have a partnership. Do I feel like there was some type of sexual tension when it comes to him and Mr. Keys? Yes, I do. But it is a choice. And Mr. Keys had sexual hangups. He didn't like that. He didn't want that. Um, the problem is with him, Tyler Perry has a thing of arrogance. It's all about him. The sun card in the reverse is all about him when it comes to that. So it makes sense if he's pressing on him and he doesn't want it. But because he doesn't want it and he can't get his rocks off, Christian Keys allegedly can't make it nowhere or can't get the raises or the things that he wants. Very selfish. Mm-hmm. Are we gonna hear some more about Tyler Perry? With just essay allegations and stuff. My dog Lexus right here. I was about to, he was looking at me like, mm, might one, two, three. Will we hear more about allegations? We're gonna hear more about him not oh shit. <laughs> well, he's going to have to defend himself, right? Things are going to start hitting the fan, allegedly. You know, you got a tower moment right here. This talks about things not coming in, right? So, they promise people things, right? Then you have certain people who feel like this is a idea, Oh, a new creative pursuit. There's all this creative energy that we can go forward and do this. But he's going to have to defend himself. Eventually. Do I think... I think... Out of anything... There are people in the background... Who he did not give the opportunities that he told them that he would give. And I think Christian Keys has motivated others. But do I think it would come to fruition? It might. It might not. But they need evidence of certain things too. Now that's the key. It's evidence. Hearsay and me just coming out and saying that this happened and this happened is not evidence. That's just me telling you something happened. Okay. 
So, hmm. How does Tyler Perry feel about this? And I'm going to end it with that. Poor Christian Keys. He looked good, so he's a nice man. He's a nice looking man. One, two, three. Tyler Perry is the king of pentacles in the reverse right now. That man is more worried about his money than he is about people. Okay. That's that's a little weird. Because, see, he come off as this person who is so all about the black people and all this other stuff. But he's more, he's into money than he is the people. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're going to figure out. But see, that's the downfall of most of these people with money, ain't it? But that's what I got for you guys today. Y'all tell me how y'all like this reading. And I'll see you guys 